Welcome to the Goose Chase video. In this video, I will show you how to use the Goose Chase uh, application, the Goose Chase system. If you do not have an Android device or an iPhone, I will show you how to use the system on uh, a laptop or a workstation computer. To get started, uh, let's take a look at uh, an example of game. And this game uh, right here is for our CIS 150 class. And basically, students have uh, a number of missions to complete. And uh, they can do so currently uh, only through the um, handheld devices through mobile technology. If we were to go to how it works and how to play, they are required to go ahead and install the app on uh, either iPhone or Android. So here's how this can be done on a laptop. You have to download the Android SDK and uh, install it, then configure an emulator on the phone, and then install the app on the phone. Uh, in another related video, I show you how to install the SDK, and the link is below in, in the uh, description of the video. So watch that video first, so you can install the SDK. And now I'll show you how to configure a device, and how to install the app, and how to play the game. So right now I have uh, SDK installed, uh, and uh, for me it is uh, in my uh, home directory, and um, it's called uh, Android SDK Mac OS X. Now, this SDK has a file called Android. I will go ahead and double click on that. And this file is going to bring up my Android SDK manager. You can see that I have a number of things already downloaded and installed. Again, the previous video uh, explains uh, how that's done. But now that I have the Android SDK, I can go to Tools manage AVDs, which happens to be Android virtual devices, and I can create a new emulator. So it's going to be a phone on my computer. I can say new. I'll call this um, Goose Chase phone. I will create a device. Well, let's, uh, I will have a, a number of uh, devices to choose from, of course. Uh, you can experiment and create multiple devices if you want to. But I'll go ahead and go with the Nexus, uh, uh, maybe the Galaxy, Galaxy Nexus. And uh, the API that I have available to me is either the Google API, uh, which includes Maps, uh, or the Android 4.3. I'll, I'll select the Google API. And now I'm going to select a camera because I want to be able to take pictures right with my laptop. Otherwise, I can uh, possibly take pictures with a digital camera and then try to uh, save them locally on the emulator phone and then submit them. But here's this. I will say, go ahead and use the webcam, which I already have on my laptop, as the camera connected to the emulator. From here, we can have an SD card. Uh, select the size for it. And uh, this should be a sufficient uh, set of configurations. I'll say OK. Now I have an API with the device created as an Android virtual device. So all I have to do now is say start. And when I start this device uh, a little bit, Android is booting. And depending on how fast your computer is, how much memory you have, this may take a few minutes. Uh, the Android operating system has to boot first. And uh, after that, we can uh, resume our presentation. OK, so the phone has booted now. You may have to unlock the phone by uh, clicking on the padlock and using the outside of the circle. I see my desktop now camera app here is connected to our webcam on the laptop and I'll go ahead and start the browser app so that we can download the Goose Chase application. Uh, 
normally on the Android device you would um, uh, install applications to the Play Hulu store. Unfortunately, the emulators are not allowed to access the Hulu store, so uh, the apps are only allowed on the hardware devices. Uh, what we have to do now is download the Hulu Chase application from a temporary location here. So here's the Hulu that we have. It's data at i dot com slash cis150 slash app dot hpg when i press enter the browser will uh, download the app and it will put it in the downloads uh, spot so in the upper left corner you can see the progress of the downloads and if i click on that arrow in the upper left I go to downloads or I can go to this middle button and then the applications and then downloads application will take me to the same place. So I'll go ahead and click on the app now. And uh, for the app in the downloads uh, location uh, is going to be executed and uh, installed. Alright, so yes, we want to do all those things with the app. We'll say next, we'll say install. Going to go through the installation process. So, depending on how fast your laptop is, um, and also uh, what uh, choices you made when you created the emulator, uh, all of those steps, including installation, uh, will be uh, faster or a little bit shorter. Um, something to remember is that the larger the screen uh, on, on the emulator, the slower things are going to be taken. So sometimes having a smaller device makes good sense. All right, I'm going to say open, and the Goose Chase application is started. We can reach this Goose Chase application now from our um, middle button here, the home screen, and then all applications. I will go ahead and press login, and this is going to take me to login prompt. I'll put in my uh, account information. I'll press login and now we're going to be put inside of the mobile app. Inside of the mobile app we have uh, already uh, have under my account the GVSC application selected. Um, you may have to search for it but once you click on it you're taken to the list of missions. Uh, once who you already uh, which you already completed or ones that are remaining. So I'll go ahead and go through uh, maybe the uh, next uh, mission of Apples Forever. Um, ask to snap a picture. description and then I can even tweak that and then I can say submit progress. So at this point the app is submitting a picture taken as if it was done on an Android phone. I'm uploading right here and then to verify it I can log in uh, with the administrator account to this game And I can see that as far as the game is concerned, let's go to the camera for a minute. As far as the game is concerned, this particular picture is uh, uploaded just the same as uh, all the other uh, uploads uh, for the application. 
Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Goose Chase system on a laptop and how to uh, install the app on your main emulator on your device and how to participate in the missions even if you do not have a mobile device. 